It's the calculus throwdown, ladies and homies. Follow the steps and we be rapid for the domies. First the acid coats, horizontal and vertical. Building block curves, connecting values and critical. Zeros, tell you where we cross the X axis. Solving Y prime, finding names and maxes. Points of inflection from Y double prime. That's all you need to graphic perfect every time. For rational expressions, when there's a divide, you gotta first find a few things on the side. DAs, HAs, zeros are needed. It don't matter if some of the values are repeated. VAs are X values you can't be using. Denominator zero, it's not confusing. For numerator zero, it's zeros you're finding. Factor if needed, now you don't need reminded. Horizontal asymptotes are more of a pain. Three different cases, so let me explain. The highest exponent can be on top or the bottom, or even on both. What? So how do we plot them? On the bottom, y equals zero. It's easy. On the top, then you might feel a little queasy. Use long division. The remainder you ignore. It's an oblique, not horizontal anymore. Top and bottom, no problem. Numbers pull out. Limits to infinity is what it's all about. With all of these found, you got what you need. What? Critical values next. You may proceed. It's the calculus throwdown, ladies and homies. Follow the steps and we be graphic polynomies. First the asymptotes, horizontal and vertical. Building block curves, connecting values and critical. Zero, tell you where we cross the X axis. Solving Y prime, finding mids and maxes. Points of inflection from Y double prime. That's all you need to graphic perfect every time. Finding critical values and points of inflection. In the scope of graphing problems, it's a prominent section. Find Y prime, double prime, and solve for X. Meaning make the top zero, the bottom rejects. Simplify may be hard, go real slowly. Expand and collect like terms, holy moly. Once you find them all, you are then able to put the CVs and the VAs in a graphic table. Three rows, values in every other column. This table is pressures like the rain was the golem. Fill the bottom row by plugging CVs into Y. Coordinates can get messy, and that ain't no lie. Plug values in between in Y prime and double. Positive or negative is your only trouble. Based on what you find, draw your building block curves. The four possible ways of how a function works. Finally, plot your CVs, zeros and totes. Cartesian plane in what you already wrote. Connect the dots using curves, that's the extent of what you need to do to get a freaking 100%. 100%. It's the calculus throwdown, ladies and homies. Follow the steps and we be graphic polynomies. First the asymptotes, horizontal and vertical. Building block curves, connecting values and critical. Zero, tell you where we cross the X axis. Solving Y prime, finding ins and maxes. Points of inflection from Y double prime. That's all you need to graphic perfect every time. 